to go uh, because it was top four through. So an interesting approach, I think, to really go for it like that. Mm. Mark, we know it's going to be a long week. It's going to be a hot week. Uh, so an interesting tactic, but a race win nonetheless as we go to heat two now. Aussies more on Kennedy Everett than the fast Moldovans in lane five next to them. The Swedes in three. The Belgians moving quickly too. Uh, in, uh, that's the Brunei double quite slow off in the middle that I missed there, sorry. And uh, Tweller and Bruining, perhaps the favourites to finish first in this heat from the Netherlands over on the far side. The Brunei double, uh, Albanki and Al Hassan. And great to see Brunei here with a, with a few crews, actually. This is a new combination. So fantastic work through the World Rowing Development Program, uh, bringing new countries in, into these important Olympic and Paralympic qualifying events. Yeah, we're seeing uh, the whole race. It does look like Netherlands still up at 44, and this double has really come into its own through the second part of this season, third in the Euros in Bled. But, of course, that win in Lucerne, which you commentated on, Sarah, and uh, the Olympic silver medalists uh, are in fine form. Many people's favourite to take the gold here after that performance in Lucerne, but you never know with the Croatians who... Uh, will have gone back, licked their wounds, and hope to find a way to beat the Dutch. High rate of striking from the Dutch. And uh, on this near side, the Australians. Now, what are the Australians yeah, doing so there so early on? Yeah, so really interesting, Mart. So this is a new combination, Harley Moore and Cormac Kennedy Leverett. Cormac was in the quad that placed fourth at World Cup 3. Harley was in the double uh, that came ninth at World Cup 3 and fourth at World Cup 2. So they've actually been coached by Lyle McCarthy uh, since the World Championships, but Lyle's um, uh, wife had a bit of a health scare, so Lyle's gone home and, and the crew has been looked after by Rhett Aliff uh, for the last couple of weeks, the men's head coach. So um, best wishes to, to Lyle and to his wife Liz, who I'm sure are watching and um, hope that... Uh, you're enjoying the racing here and hopefully the guys can, can get that all-important qualifying position through this heat. So the Moldovans took seventh place in Lucerne, of course fifth in the world last year. Really uh, fantastic to see a double from Moldova do so well in the 2022 World Championships. And uh, they have a useful overlap on the Netherlands who are out in front on that far side. Belgian, we haven't mentioned them, Van den Buscher and Andries. They've been a really fast double, uh, under-23 champions back in Varese. Tristan Van der Buscher, we're looking at, I think, uh, no, we're looking at the, uh, yeah, the Belgians there. Van der Buscher, uh, handy score, 551 on the indoor ergo for the 2K test. And uh, Aaron Andries won the... Belgian championships, I think, held in Pierre de Luco. But there's the leading double. Yeah, this wonderful dollar, uh, double of Melvin Tweller and Stefan Bruning. Silver medalists from the 2020 Olympic Games and uh, back together this season, taking the World Cup, as you said, in Lucerne, Mart, which I was commentating along with Greg Searle and a bronze medal at the European Championships. They look really punchy. It's kind of a, Simon Van Dorp in the in the Dutchman single came down at 38 strokes a minute. I mean, what are the Netherlands at now? Uh, 40 strokes a minute, and it you know it looks kind of easy on the way forward. It doesn't look rushed so much, but the Dutch crews, the scholars seem you know from Francesca Fossi, their coach seem to be rating really quite high. Yeah, rating high, quite upright, pretty unfussy sort of style of rowing, but they have clear water here over Moldova. Yeah. The Moldovans with those white caps on, showing the sort of form that took them to an A final place, which will, if they can repeat that, I mean, that will be incredible for them because uh, they will be able to qualify directly for the Olympics from the World Championships. 11 boats will qualify for the Olympics from the men's and women's doubles. So we're looking at the race for second, third and fourth place. We can't see, you can see the trail of puddles for the Netherlands as they come up to 1500 meters past those lovely cafes on the far side. There they are out in front. The Moldovans determines not to be intimidated by the Netherlands. 
We just missed the Netherlands go through the 1500, but the Moldovans went through in, in seconds, and then Sweden's. I don't know what Sweden are doing up there. That's an amazing skull from them. Jonas Richter and Hugo Nerald coming through in third behind, as you say, Netherlands, Moldova. And sitting in that fourth qualifying position at this stage, it is Belgium. And it's interesting for Sweden because Jonas Richter, the 25-year-old, I mean, one of the things he, he mentioned on his form was that the challenge he faced this year was doing full-time work and, and training, you know. And, and so I, I know they would have been in full-time on training camp, but for the Swedish to be up there in a good qualifying position is, is, a, is a great uh, result if they can sustain it. Quite impressive at this level to be this competitive and, and working full-time and training around it as well, Mark. We know that a lot of these athletes would be more or less full-time athletes yeah. and training three times a day, six days a week uh, and not able to fit in work around that. So quite impressive. Yeah, well, I think Steph Broiding's come back into full-time training. I don't think he was in 22. Uh, but uh, the doubles are coming up to the finish now and uh, there is a pretty much an ocean of water between the Dutch and the Moldovans. The Netherlands will come up to the finish line. There they are. That's our finish line camera. Great job done. Netherlands on fire here. I think it's going to be Netherlands and Australia to really push Britain for, for top nation at these championships. Moldova qualify for the quarterfinal in seconds. In third, that is Sweden. And then I think it's the Belgians, Van der Busche and Andries in fourth place. Just wait for confirmation on those little finish posts there, if we're going to get that. Yes, it is Belgium in fourth place. It'll be interesting to look at the 